What's going on guys? Dr. D here from One Hive Invicta bringing you a war recap from the 2.0 versus Krummel, uh mid-season CWL war. Uh, Weiser is feeling a bit under the weather. He asked me to hop over here and recap this war for you guys. So um, we're going to hop into it here uh, real quick. Uh, just as a quick note, Krimmel is a Austrian uh, clan, um, a very solid clan, had a record of 9-0 and in uh, CWL. So the only undefeated clan left. Um, let's hop over and have a look at the war statistics. So here are the basic war statistics. As you can see, 80 to 87. Uh, Crummel had 22, or I mean, uh, 27 triples to uh, 2.0's 22 triples. 90.63% um, uh, damage for 2.0, 95 for Crummel. All right, let's go over and let's have a look at the bases here. So uh, the, the difference was at Town Hall 10, um, as it often is. Uh, they were able to two-star all of the Town Hall 11s and triple every single Town Hall 10 and Town Hall 9 uh, all the way down. Um, on the other side, uh, 2.0 uh, missed a star here um, and then uh, was able to triple a few of the 10s but left two, three, four. Five tens open, and and that's really uh, what it came down to. So, um, all right. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and let's uh, hop into the attacks. I'm going to start at the bottom, like I usually do, and we are going to look at uh, an attack by Dally on number 28. So Dally is coming in with something that we we don't see very often anymore, but it is the double jump gobaho. Um, so he's going to start down here, setting his funnel. Eventually, there we go. <laughs> uh, golem comes in, second golem comes in. Uh, very nice job um, setting a funnel. Jump is down, no need for wall break here. Um, in with the Valks, the BK, and the Queen. Um, they're able to take out everything here uh, in, in this initial uh, initial corridor. Um, heel goes down uh, right at that second jump spot. Uh, lots of high HP buildings at that second jump spot, unfortunately. Now, the queen is beating away on that um, lava hound, and eventually the hound is going to pop, and some of those pups are going to get attracted over to those valks, which is... You know, of course, no good, unfortunately. Um, the poison does eventually take care of them, but uh, still has not used the heal, or the, the second heal. Um, has both of the expos gone now? Going to start trickling in some hogs here in just a second. There they are. Uh, however, at this point, his BK is gone, and his Valks are gone, and things are looking kind of scary. Those hogs go flying. He's got three hogs in the bag, but a CC full of hogs, and these max hogs in the CC are just beast. So they come in, um, they clear out these uh, these these very important buildings up here, a, a whiz tower, um, several point defenses, only loses a single hog there, which is fantastic. And now they're working down here. Uh, got one cannon and, or two, I'm sorry, two cannons, and that uh, Tesla's not even going to make it. Queen gets the Tesla. Cannons are gone. Take out that mortar, and that is it. It is GG, tree stars in the bag. Nice job, Dally. And so we'll just watch a little bit of cleanup here, and it is over with. All right, uh, the next uh, next thing we're going to watch is m Mach. So Mach hit number 26. These lower attacks um, were just some of the coolest attacks I've seen in a while. So we see this we see a base, this base or a base very similar to this quite frequently with the two Expos in the center and some exposed air defenses. And it makes you want to think drags, uh, or at the very least, air. Um, and that's exactly what he's doing here. So uh, he's going to queen walk two of these air defenses down here, uh, gets the CC lure uh, with the queen, um, takes out 
you know the all of the 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 little garbage uh, make sure to catch that witch in the poison um there she goes finally uh so queen is continuing to uh to walk here and he's going to start as soon as that other air defense goes he's going to start bringing his hounds up top I'm going to speed it up here just a little bit. King is in, kind of helping to, to, to uh, distract some fire, get to that air defense. Uh, King <laughs> does not hop in and get that queen. Um, what I do like, though, is that that uh, jump spell stick, sticks around long enough for his queen to hop in there. And she's going to take out both of those um, expos. Here comes the hounds and the loons and it is a very very nice setup great pathing all the way across here um, haste goes down and just a pile of loons moving in uh, still has four loons in the bag at this point and only one defense that can uh, two defenses I'm sorry that can target loons um, neither hound has popped at this point or, or only one of the one of the three I guess has popped um, brings in those last loons and that is it this is easy cleanup now it is tree stars in the bag nice job Machnus really really cool attack all right um, I have been recapping uh, Armor Queen in Invicta for a few weeks now and this is who I'm talking about when I say Chad from 2.0 so this is Chad Fowler this is his Town Hall 9 his Town Hall 10 is it over in uh, Invicta with me and so you can see um, just clears out a mortar up there. Um, a very interesting army composition here. He's got uh, a couple of golems, bowlers in the CC, uh, a third golem, I'm sorry, three golems, um, and 15 loons, which means he's, he's betting that he can get every one of these air defenses with his kill squad and not need any type of tanking for those loons. Um... Brought a few extra wall breakers just in case. Uh, was smart because uh, his first group of wall breakers actually got taken out by a whiz tower. Uh, but wall breakers are in. Here comes the bowlers. Golems are in. And the BK and, and Queen are in. Well, BK anyway. Um, all right. So they swing back around. And here we go. Um the, the, the amazing thing about this attack is that not only does he get every air defense, but he gets virtually every defense out here that could target air um, <laughs> regardless. So there we go. Last air defense is down. All of the Teslas are now down. The only thing left that can target air is a single uh, archer tower, which is done right there. And that is it. It is tree stars in the bag. He's swagging eight loons. Uh, a uh, <laughs> a um, haste spell, uh, a minion, and a uh, wall breaker. So really just wrecked this base. Very, very nice job, Chad. Fun attack to watch. Great plan. And that's it. Tree stars in the bag. All right, moving right along... We're going to look at Val. So Val came with, uh, it, it's, a, it's a modified drag attack. You'll see that uh, he's going to drop um, the uh, Zap Quake on these two ADs up here, hoping that he can get those um, uh, blowers to. Doesn't happen. Uh, that's two spaces, and that's just one space too many to get those blowers down with a Zap Quake. Um, Anyway, uh, pulls out the CC, and interesting approach here. So there's a couple of different ways to handle this uh, CC or, or these air defenses. Um, you can leave that CC alone and then just let the drags take care of it, uh, and then throw some wizards around this king to take care of that air defense. Uh, he decides not to do that, though. Um, 
goes in, pulls, lures the CC, and then gets the air defense with his king and his queen, uh, or his, qu his queen while his king distracts. Uh, one air defense left over here, and he's going to start bringing drags. He's funneling those drags with the baby drags, throws a couple of loons in, and he's he's actually got quite a quite a few loons here, all things considered. Um, he brought 16 loons, and only, I think it was five dragons, maybe only four dragons. I think it's four dragons, actually. Uh, no air defenses, and at first when I was watching this, or, uh, um, or only one air defense, I'm sorry, and when I was watching this, I thought, man... That really seems like overkill having two hounds. But what you're going to see here is these hounds, at least one of these hounds, tanks for these loons all the way around this base. It works out so nicely. Um, these loons are able to stay up and just pound these defenses. Still got two of his four dragons that he started with. Um, starts bringing in loons from the backside. Uh, again, Hound is distracting all of these defenses, distracting that Expo, distracting those Teslas. Uh, it does finally pop, right? Oh, I thought it did. Ah, my bad. Uh, doesn't pop, but uh, regardless, that is a tree star attack. Nice job, Val. Uh, very, very cool attack. Throws a loon out there just for the heck of it. One on the top as well. So a couple of swag loons. Great job, Val. All right. Um, moving up, we're going to check out an attack by JP. Uh, another dragon attack. I love dragon attacks. This is a, uh, I don't know, people call it different things. I call it the gobo drags. Uh, so you see he's got five dragons, a um, couple of golems, CC bowlers. Uh, starts down here setting a funnel. Um, and trying to get, keep that funnel as cheap as possible, right? A couple of minions working, one wizard working on that really high HP building. Uh, gonna throw down both golems right here where there's a, a ton of, of uh, point defenses. These, uh, these Teslas are just, I mean, just brutal. So we've got a Tesla farm here that he's gonna, he's gonna tear up. And once he's through that Tesla farm, we're almost through, jump comes down, out comes the bowlers, and into this base. So the idea here is take out this and this air defense and get that CC. Brings in a couple of hogs from the backside to help out with that. And they're done. A second jump comes down to push towards that top air defense. Uh, in addition to getting that top air defense, he's going to get this air defense up here. In the meantime, he starts his drags working down here. Um, got some point defenses here, which are um, a, a bit dangerous for drags. Not going to be a big issue uh, given the HP that the drags have, but uh, once he pushes through those, air defense is now gone. Don't have to worry about that. Um, and now it's just dragons pushing through one, two, two point defenses, and of course wizard towers, which really don't do a whole lot to dragons anyway. I mean, yeah, they, they, they hit them when they're in a big group like this, but the truth is that the damage on drags is, uh, given their given their level of HP, just doesn't matter. Um, brings in a couple of back end loons to take care of some of these other defenses, and uh, that is it. It is tree stars in the bag. Nice job, JP. All right, moving right along, we are going to check out Bucko. So. Um, Bucko coming in right over here. Uh, oh, you know what? This was, wasn't the one that I actually wanted to watch with Bucko, but we'll watch this one anyway. Uh, Bucko also had a quad, uh, a quad Lalo that was really pretty awesome. Um, but here we're coming with a, um, stoned Bolo, or I mean a stoned Hobo, um, and... There we go. CC is, is out. CC is poisoned. Um, the bowlers are in. Second jump is now down, and they are pushing all the way across. Going to get to the second AD, um, take out these wizard towers, and I mean just, just kind of destroys this base. Uh, this wall of cannons uh, 
could could be a, a potential problem, but fortunately those cannons were mostly distracted by what was going on in the center. Um, does wind up pushing through those cannons though, and then sprinkles in hogs the rest of the way around. Um, Bucko has always been one of the best hog deployment guys I've ever seen. He's really, really good with hogs. Queen is doing some work. He'll spell down for those last few hogs. Um, and that is it. We're going to speed it up here just a little bit. They're going to push through these last couple of defenses. Ooh, hogs don't quite make it. So Bucko is going to luck out here because I'm going to do another. I'm going to do another uh, attack. Recap another one of his attacks because it was really, really pretty good. Um, boy, his queen is doing some pretty hefty work here for him. He does wind up getting the the uh, tree stars here. There we go. Nice job, Bucko. Tree stars in the bag. There we go. All right. This was the attack that I wanted to show. So we've got a quad Lalo. Uh, queen comes in, um, he knows that he can get the enemy queen here, and he knows that he should be able to get the CC lure. As long as he can get in there to get that enemy queen, bam, gets the queen, gets the CC lure. Out comes a hound, not a big deal. Uh, I'm not sure if this was a, a cleanup hit or not. If it wasn't a cleanup hit, um then my guess is he was assuming he would get that. If it was a cleanup hit, he probably thought, who cares if it's a, if it's a hound? Um, <laughs> since he was coming with uh, all, uh, a quad Lalo attack. So um, attacks these first two air defenses um, right off the bat. Notice when he started, he had seven haste spells, dropped three of them there. He's going to put down two more haste spells here. Oh, I'm sorry, one haste spell here. And then a rage and... He is just working his way across this base. It's very nice. The pathing of the loons gets a little bit messed up here. You'll see he was kind of hoping, I think, for them to, to move towards that air defense. They came south instead, but they're back up there now. doesn't matter. They're going to shoot straight across, get that final air defense. Hound pops at the perfect time, and that is it. It is tree stars in the bag. Uh, lots and lots of pups out there for cleanup. Um, had a couple of loons in the back... In, in, in the uh, in the bag still throws those down takes out the last uh, air targeting defense and that is it great job great job buckle really really cool attack we'll speed this up and just watch the cleanup happen uh, that hound is still still alive over there finally it pops doesn't matter um, tree stars and we are moving on all right Last Town Hall 9 attack we're going to watch is from my buddy Cass. So Cass is coming with a Queen Walk uh, Bolalo, and it's a very cool idea, right? He's got, he's got three ADs up here, and the goal is to take care of all three of those with this Queen Walk. Um, unfortunately, uh, this wizard up here gets a little bit ahead of the Queen, and the plan was to get that wizard around and not knock out some of this junk, but it uh, doesn't matter. Um, queen comes in. Uh, one air defense is already down. Uh, second one is about to go down any minute or any second here. Bam, there it is. Uh, now, conventional wisdom might suggest trying to come in this way and get at these two air defenses um, with, with some sort of a, a, a golem entry. But uh, Cass comes from down here. And the reason that you, he's coming from down here is the value that he's going to get. A wall break in and a single jump gets him to both of these air or both of these bows, gets him at least one of these air defenses, if not both, um, and gets him all of these uh, all of these wizard towers. So uh, Queen is cleaning up there. Um, Golems down. Bowlers are. Heading in here soon. There we go. Uh, heel is going to come down on top of these uh, bowlers, or at least on the king. Um, and uh, jump is down, and a rage is down. And so you've got kind of a traditional bolalo entry right here, and they are just wrecking stuff. So only a single hound, and that hound 
just doesn't even make it to the air defense and it's done. So this is a little bit scary right now because two air defenses are up and there is nothing uh, tanking for all of these loons. Lots of loons going. But the queen just busts through and gets to this last air defense and that is it. Uh, nothing left that can hurt these loons. It is tree stars in the bag. Great plan. Very nice job, Cass. All right. So we're going to watch one more attack. Um, there, were, there were no 10v10 triples and there were no 11v11 triples, but there was a, a 10v11 two-star that I thought was a really, really nice attack. So this is Tam. Um, she's coming with a queen walk. Um, going to start by setting a little bit of a funnel here. Um, in comes the queen. Now you've got to be cautious here. You want to keep those um, healers far enough away from that uh, air defense because she's got a little bit of work to do before she can walk in there and get to that air defense. But uh, she's there, rages down. Whew. A little bit too close for comfort there, but uh, she gets the uh, gets the air defense um, and is working her way across now. Now the goal is actually you know, to set this funnel so that she can bring in Valks and Bowlers right in this corner. Uh, it's going to allow them to jump right into the uh, right into the town hall. So. Here comes the Valks, Wall Breakers, and a Golem. Now, unfortunately, um, <laughs> that uh, that Eagle Artillery does not target the Golem right off the bat. But, uh, all right, so Bowlers are in. Things are looking really good, 33%. And you know that you're going to get a good percent for the Town Hall and for all of this stuff sitting right here in the middle. Um, and certainly, that's what happens. In no time, that 33% jumps up to 45 percent town hall is now gone it's just a matter of a couple percentage points here and there we are 52 percent of a two star means that a town hall 11 gets pushed down and this is a, the number six person um, you know it's still a it's still a, a max or nearly max town hall 10 um, but still taking on a max town hall 11 really really great job nice hit tam uh, tens don't get enough love, I think, in, in the work that they do. Um, Two-starring a Town Hall 11, especially a Town Hall 11 um, in a clan like Crummel, really, really hard to do. Great job, Tam. Very nice attack. All right, that is it. Again, Final War Statistics had a good time uh, recapping this 2.0 war. Uh, wiser, feel better. Uh, this is Dr. D from One Hive Invicta. Flash on.